I came to Hollywood on a train, and I got off at Union Station about six months ago with $20 in my pocket with a dream and a hope in Jesus Christ to become a radio producer and a televised minister. Six months later, he has provided a wonderful place for me, a producer contract, and a camera in front of me today. And that's all it took. To come out on that kind of faith with $20, that's all. And nothing but faith that the Lord will bless me because I believe in Him and because He wants His message to get out. Not too many people can say they've done that. It's not to brag. But my Lord is so special to me. And getting His Word out means so much to Him as well as myself. Imagine that, getting off the train at Union Station, Los Angeles, with $20 in your pocket. No place to sleep and no place to go. And yet the Lord has provided so much for me. Come and join our ministry and help us to grow. In Jesus' name I ask you. Amen. Hello, friends, neighbors, brothers, and sisters. My name is Reverend Paul Thomas Sutton. I've been working in the Word of God for about 21 years now. I'm making a debut on a camera, and this is probably my first serious camera move. I'd like to identify with you and help you to understand the gospel and the ministry that I run. 21 years ago, the Lord touched my heart. 21 years ago, the Lord sent His holy angel to me that I might become a preacher. In His doing that, He sent me to Harvest Christian Ministries up in Riverside, California, Greg Laurie, the producer of the Harvest Crusades every year. I immediately received the spirit of evangelism. I'm a very fortunate person that God cared about that he might deliver me out of the sins that I was involved in and into his ministry to preach his word. I studied for thousands of hours through Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa, a Southern California church, and Harvest Christian Ministries, another Southern California church. They're very much related, excellent teachers. The Lord then sent me through thousands of hours of teaching. And I asked him, what are my gifts in the Spirit? And he said to me, what do you do every morning? And I said, I get up and I read your word. I pray and I go out and I evangelize to the homeless, to those who are in bondage, to those who are unsaved, looking for that person that you, the Lord, would send to me each and every day that they might be saved. So when I asked him, what gifts do I have? The Lord said unto me, through that, he said, teaching, and I said, thank you. And then he said, preaching, and I said, thank you. And he said, evangelist, and I said, thank you. And I began to understand the gifts of the Spirit and the wonder of his glory, that I should be, me, a sinner, able to call people unto Christ. He then introduced me to Isaiah 58, which is a wonderful book of the Bible on the true heart of God and what he wants us to actually do for him. I studied, I studied, I studied, I studied. I put away my television. I put away my guitar concert equipment. I used to have a band. It didn't matter anymore. I got rid of all of it and I got rid of all my rock and roll albums and all I did was study God's word until I could come to that position to the gift that he gave to me as teaching and preaching, as well as evangelism. Finally, I came to a point where, Lord, I begin to understand your word. My teachers are great, and they are by far, by far greater than I am. And they teach so well, and you've sent me to wonderful teachers. He put me into a Bible college, and I learned much more. He made me a minister. Today, I'm on the radio, and I'm doing my first televised thing, and you're looking at it right now. The purpose is to help all people to know Jesus Christ, to understand the wonders of his salvation, the glory of his love, 
his forgiveness, his unconditional love, which he says, I don't care what you've done, I love you. He's an amazing God, and sometimes I just want to bust into tears because his glory is upon me as I speak these words to you. We're trying, me and my partners, my backers, my donors, the radio network that I work for, and the wonderful man that holds his camera in front of my face as an executive producer, loves the Lord, and we all love you. This love needs to be shared. He's given me a righteous opportunity to do this, televised, to do it on the radio. My show goes worldwide today. I get to touch people's hearts in his power and in his love all over the world. I get to be heard in Moscow. I'm heard in London. I'm heard in so many other countries. And I'm heard all over the United States of America. I'm on the Internet, radio, preaching the Word of God. I'm also on local stations in Los Angeles County preaching the Word of God. And now I'm on a television camera <laughs> preaching the Word of God. I'm thoroughly amazed at where he can lead me to. I guess the point I'm trying to make is where he wants to lead you to, which is his kingdom. His kingdom is everything. His Word is everything. His love is everything. And he's given me this awesome position of responsibility to share that love with you. There's nothing greater Home to me is heaven, and I get to go there. Home to me is to be with him, and I get to go there. I know there's a lot of things that go on in this world. There's demons, and there's devils, and there's angels, and we go through hard times and good times. But he says, I shall set you free. And that freedom is my freedom to talk to you today. <laughs>